Hello, my name is Chi, also known as Cheesy Fix on Instagram and Cheesy Sticks on TikTok. And today I'm filming a unboxing of the Party on Desk um, Vocaloid mini box set. It's a full set, so we will be unboxing every single character. Now I decided to open it from the bottom because I didn't want to cut the sticker. this is a bit different than my usual unboxing where I usually just film a quick TikTok about it and then repost it on my Instagram. But I decided to try to do a full unboxing with probably the worst setup I've ever had. It was very unstable. <laughs> it almost it fell down a few times. So it made uh, recording a recording a little stressful. <laughs> Starting with our first box. I love the designs for it. Here are all the different ones you can get. I love the colors of the box. I really love colorful things. If, you, if you've seen any of my accounts, you know I do. We're gonna open the first box. And for the first box, we have... It's gonna be Len! This was actually the one I was really, really hoping for. I think it looks super duper cute. Here's this little banana as well. Super duper adorable. Honestly, I was fairly surprised on how light the banana was. I thought it was gonna be more like solid, but it feels really hollow, honestly. And it's super lightweight. <laughs> and it, it feels like if I like crush it in my hand, it would like explode. <laughs> but here's Len. Super cute. I love how he looks. It turned out super adorable. Here's the base as well. It's very simple, just you just push it on. It's really easy to put together on the base. He fits on very well as well. There's little imprints of where his little like feet go. Also lines up perfectly. And look how cute it is. Super, super duper cute. So on to the next box. And we have... Oh, looks like it's gonna be his twin sister, Rin. Now these two were the ones I were really looking forward to as they were my favorite ones. Just design based and set so far. Now, honestly, I was kind of expecting the orange to be a little bit bigger, but it's still super cute. It's a different material than the banana. It's almost 
like rubbery but the ring figure is so cute you don't even have to like put her on the orange like you can just display it on her own look how cute she is but i love how cute she turned it as well here's the orange it doesn't look like there's much you could really actually put in her but it's still really cute Here's the stand, same thing as the last one. Very basic setup as well, like the banana one, you just put that one on and then attach the minifigure on. And it's cute too because now she acts on like a little handle. <laughs> Third box. I wonder who we get. But it looks like it's gonna be. Ooh. It looks like Kaito. This is actually the, the second Kaito figure I own. Because I don't know why they don't make. They don't make minifigures now. I think he is so cute, and they should definitely make more designs. I was honestly surprised that it came with stickers. I was a little worried because I knew that somehow I'd mess up the sticker placement on the, the ice cream. Here's the base. This is a little different. It comes with little musical notes. This little ice cream tin, it's, it's, um, it's not the same plastic as either of the other pieces from Rins or Lins. Not sure really how to describe it. It just kind of feels like a basic one. Here's all the different designs you can choose to put on the little ice cream tin. And here are the little musical notes. And the base is the same as the other ones, looks like. one just snaps on. It's a little bit harder to get on than the last ones, but pop, and it's on. I decided to wait to put the stickers on until after, just because I didn't trust myself to film it. The yellow music note, for some reason, just wasn't going in for me. It was a little bit of a struggle, but the blue music note, it went in, like, super easy. It was fine. But the yellow note, I don't know, sure. Same with the other ones, he just kind of slides onto his base. But one thing I will point out is he seems really loose, and you'll see he spins around. He doesn't actually really stay in place like any of the other figures. I'm not sure if it's just mine, or if they maybe did like the wrong sizing, or maybe it was on purpose. I'm not sure. He's just a little loose. But on to the next box. Looks like we have. Ooh, I recognize this lake. It's gonna be Miku! With her pigtails on the side, as usual. Now, the leak, it felt very light as well. It's probably the same material as um, Rit. Lens, sorry, not lens. Lens banana. Feels very light and hollow. I was a little worried when I saw the impressions, knowing that I'd have to line it up somehow with Miku's like head.
There's Miku, super cute as always, just like everyone else. The stand is just gonna work the same way as the other ones, just pops right on. And like every other Miku figure, you have to put in her pigtails, which is always the scariest part. I've broken a few of them. But luckily, these ones actually went in very easy. The easiest out of any Miku pigtails I've ever done. And she was just done like that. Now putting her on the stand, I will say she was definitely the hardest. Because she- it didn't really feel like she quite fit. I lined it up from the front, but like you'll see when I spin it around, it doesn't fit the back. Like she still like popped out. But luckily it's not that noticeable, and she's still super cute either way. On to the next box. And this one, it looks like it's gonna be... I recognize that too now. It looks like this one's gonna be Luca. I will say she's definitely the heaviest one. Her base is made of like this really heavy thick plastic. And it looks to be the most detailed, honestly. It might be my favorite base out of them all. But Luca's is super cute too. One thing I did notice is that she did have this little, like, black smudge on her arm right there. And it didn't seem like it was going to come off, which is a bit of a bummer, but it's okay. And this is also my second figure of Luca as well. But she just pops on perfect, and she looks so cute! I love all the details with this one, definitely, again, feels the most detailed, even the white on the waves and everything. But onto the last box, I think we know who it is. And if we're right, it's gonna be... Yeah, it's Mako! Mako? Mako? I realize I've never actually really said her name out loud before. <laughs> I think I'm saying it right though. And I was a little worried when I saw the sticker again because I'm not good at putting stickers on and I don't trust myself. <laughs> but it's still super cute design. Here she is. This is actually my also my second Mako figure as well. The first one I have, I, it's definitely fake, so it's good to have an official figure of her. I wasn't expecting this tiny little tiny glass that actually goes in her hands. Not expecting that. Here's her giant glass. This feels like a standard like. The same kind of uh, material made of Luca's base. Here's her base, she has the music notes, like Kaito's did. The yellow music note makes me a little nervous. But her thing just pops on, like Kaito's. I'm gonna put the stickers on after the video, as again, I don't trust myself to put them on while recording. The music notes went on super duper easy. I don't know why the yellow note of Kaita's just wasn't working for me. It doesn't really... yeah. It went on perfectly fine. <laughs> Here's the tiny cup. I was honestly really worried. I thought I was gonna drop it and lose it because it's so tiny and it's clear. It's a little dangerous. <laughs> but it just like fits into her hand really perfectly right there. It's so cute. Look at her. She just fits on her stand. 
their arm resting on a giant little glass, well it's not glass, <laughs> plastic cup. And the sticker's meant to go on as well. But there's that one. So here's what they all ended up looking like. They're super duper cute. I love how they turned out. If you're looking for the Mako one, she definitely is the lightest one. Luca's is definitely the heaviest. And all the other ones are roughly the same weight. I'd probably say that Len and Miku's are going to be a little bit lighter than Kaito's and Rin's. Here's how they're used. They mostly hold like little like pens and pencils. Len's holding a little picture. Rin holds. I'll put this little shrimp in there for now. And I didn't have a phone because I was using it to film, so I'm gonna put this mini poster in there. But that's what they all look like holding. Thank you for watching this video. I hope to make more in the future. Please like and subscribe for more.